Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are jumping in again and this time, who are we going to go as? Um, maybe sheep? It's been a little while since I played as sheep. Sheep's kind of interesting. Enemies don't engage um, fire until you do and you can hold to charge. Pretty interesting. I have a cool little thumbnail we've had for a while from this. But yeah, basically, with this little fella, you can zoom yourself around and charge into everything. You don't start with a gun as this character either. Which is always kind of interesting. Honestly, getting, um, what's it called there? I don't know if I can, uh... Okay, I was just about to say, I don't know if I can walk into the sc uh, scorpions without just dying. I had to try that out to find out. I should have tried to keep the screwdriver there to get a golden weapon, but we can do it again, yeah. So, the scorpions are really going to be a hard thing to, to sort of navigate around in the first area. We've got to make sure we have a weapon ready for that. I also like the fact that as this character, we just have a constant speed boost. Although, it's making it slightly hard to navigate. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, I like this, this is good stuff. Uh, I'm trying to think of what would be really good as this. I mean, Gamma Guts is obviously pointing out to me as like, a must-have right now. Uh, taking less damage from hits, doing more contact damage seems really goddamn good. Let's see what weapon we get here. Pop Rifle, I like it. Let's... Just get that in there going. I see you, I see you. Boom, boom. I like it. This is good. Yeah, let's try and take Gamma Guts wherever we can. Uh, impact Wrist sounds like it'll be really fun. Uh, basically bash into enemies and then they bash around into other enemies. Like, yeah, okay, that is fun. I like that a lot. Okay, don't, don't bother doing it with uh, the boss because that'll be very stupid. Right, just, just circle around. There you go. Beautiful stuff. Straight in the portal. Um, sharp stress is kind of an interesting idea, but honestly, absorbing pause is just... If I find that, like, b before, like, level 4, it's, like, a must-take. Unless there's something else, like, that's really good in there. Okay, when I'm at low health, let's not bother uh, running into enemies, because I feel like that's going to be a one-way ticket to Death Street. Good. I mean, like I said, I can use it to speed boost around. I've just got to be a little little more wary about what enemies are near me. I see you, big boy. There you go. Look at that healing we're getting from uh, the paws there. Beautiful stuff. I'll try and keep the um, thingy alive there. Um, the, the carcass. We might be able to... Oh, he reached me there? Okay, fair enough. I didn't expect that. I wonder why there's like a little icon above their head when I get near them. I'm guessing that means that I can kill them. Like, maybe that means that they're one shot from me. I don't know. Well, you see, watch. Oh, this guy's not got an icon, so maybe it doesn't mean that. I have no idea what it means. Yeah, you see that icon there? You see it? I've got to hit him with that, like, bubble. If I don't hit him with a bubble in front of us, it doesn't do the same, like, damage. Machine gun, I guess I'll take that. But for now, this screwdriver shall be my saving grace. Um, Honestly, tough shell seems like it'll be really good right now. Taking less damage from uh, bigger enemies. I'm not exactly sure what happened there. I wasn't able to... Okay, what's going on? Why am I taking damage right now? Don't know why these guys weren't dying. Maybe it's because I, like, I hadn't reached a high enough speed. Must be a big part of it with this character. Cool. Give me that screw grabber back. Um, take sharp stress for now. I'm going to take the mini plasma again. Yeah, so I don't want to use my charging in this area because that seemed hella dangerous. Yeah, I've got this little uh, icon above a lot of enemies' heads here. I'm not exactly sure what to think of it. I think it does just mean that I can kill them with my charge, or something along those lines. Why am I, like, crying as I... You see that? How, like, as I melee, I, like, kind of cry. <laughs> What's that about? Is it crying? Is it meant to be crying? It looks like crying. I see you there. In fact, we can take the grenade launcher with us for now. 
and let's enter the pizza sewers, because we're going to get a screwdriver down here anyways. Careful. Unlock the golden screwdriver, take that. Ammo is good. It's whenever I fire anything, I do this little, like, crying thing. I don't know if it's crying or it's meant to be like sheep's wool or something. It's hard to tell. Um, we'll take the energy weapon thing. I never really take this. Okay, that's good to know that that's there. I mean, this thing's an insanely strong weapon for being level 2. How have I missed these guys every time? Oh, dude. Bouncy shot is not something I want to see here. Ah, oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm out of here. No, thank you. As soon as I see that guy, I'm like, hell no. So the charging's probably pretty good here. Works well with sharp stress as well. Golden blood rifle. Blood rifle's a good one to start with. Ow. I wonder what my throne butt is for this character. I bet that'd be pretty good. <laughs> I'm guessing it's just stronger charge, maybe, or faster speed. Yeah. Good way to save ammo, though, this. Okay, let's get out of here now. Good stuff. No throne butt as of yet. I think boiling veins is probably a good idea as this guy. Okay, I took a bit of damage there that I shouldn't have. Okay, so these enemies aren't dying in one hit anymore. So the charge does definitely fall off a little bit. You've got to be wary about when to use it and when not to. I like the way this thing, like, doesn't destroy on walls. If it hits a wall, it slides along the wall. That's pretty cool. I wonder if that's something to do with the uh, energy mutation I took. Either way, this thing fires really fast and does very good damage, so... He's going to be very deaded. Good stuff. Okay, this is a good area for this this little sheepy boy. Oh, dude, the turrets keep popping up there. The turrets are very annoying, very ammo-hungry. Ah, bugger. Those guys are a pain in the ass. Right. I need to sort of learn how to use this a little better. Good old blood rifle, though. Ver blood weapons are a really good starting weapon, because they are weaker, but they're just so safe. Having that safety early on is super nice. Yeah, so basically it seems like when I charge, as I hit enemies, I slow down. Ooh, inversion magnet, I'll take that. As I, as I hit enemies, I slow down, and the lower speed I am, the less chance I have of doing good damage. It seems completely tied to my speed. Which is intriguing. Um, second stomach seems good as this character. I think second stomach is something I should just be taking every time I see it anyways, because it has so many, like, synergies. Good. Good stuff. Okay. We got ourselves a director slugger. Director slugger's a pretty good one, because the slugger shot's normally pretty slow and we can speed it up quite a bit. And then I get in there with this. And then I can do this to kill all of these. And all of them. Yeah, that, that works out pretty well. We do have the inversion magnet here. The inversion magnet's pretty interesting. Basically, it's a crap melee weapon that um, makes the inverted portals spawn a lot more often. Which is pretty darn nice.
I'm liking this. There's an inverted portal there, look. Bouncer crossbow seems good. Uh, I'll take the bouncer crossbow in general here. Beautiful stuff. Okay, in we go. The, the inverted version of this area can be a little tricky. I mean, of any area it can be tricky, but of this one especially. I'm liking the bouncer crossbow in this area. Seems to be doing a mighty good job. Right. Put that on it. Kraken gun. I'm okay, thank you. I could do a few inverted portal runs this time around here. It's just, it's just going to be a lot harder to use my thingy. I really needed my throne butt or my um, gamma guts to use this effectively, I think. I think otherwise the power is just going to be kind of more of a movement ability than anything else. Um, let's go a tough shell. Oh, we're through to YVs again here. Did I get explosive on this thing? I think I did. Okay, nice. I've got explosive and something else on it. I don't know what the other thing I've got on it is. Golden flare gun. Oh my god, flare gun's so strong. Hell yes. Good stuff. Lots of inverted portals here. I like it. Um, let's go with the metabolism here. Does it increase the tier of my weapon? I think it does when I got mods on it. I think it used to be tier two this, and it's increased its tier. I don't know. How, I don't know how the tier is actually decided. I'll be honest. Good. Golden Shovel is really good too here. Some good stuff this is. Lots of gold weapons unlocked. I'm liking the shotgun on this as well. That's some good stuff. Dude, the direct damage of this thing, like when it direct hits an enemy. Boy. It's thick. Just gotta be a little careful. Makes me getting a lot of ammo back for it. Scythe is always nice. Inverted portal here. Inverted portal still isn't open somehow. There you go. Through we go. Um, Gamma Guts is there finally. I don't know if it's actually going to be usable at the moment, but it's good to have. Alright, let's keep our distance at the minute. Okay. Item drop. Uh, I don't think we really want item drop right now. I think I'm pretty happy with what I've got going on on it right now, to be honest. Oh god. This is an incredibly small room for this. Cool to see the inverted version of this guy be so different, though. I like it. I have to say, I am a little worried. Okay, we got it, we got it. And we got ourselves item drop again. It's sheep versus sheep. I didn't actually look what the alternate skins for sheep wear and how to unlock them. So if we die, I'll go and take a look at that. Got another inverted portal here. See, the inversion magnet is just crazy. So much extra inverted areas. Oh, ho, ho, this one looks so goddamn good. I don't even know what some of the inverted enemies down here do. I'm kind of worried. There's some bouncer shots in there I'm seeing. Pfft. 
Swarm. Ooh, Swarm would be good. Uh, excuse me? Oh, there you go. Adding four more. Uh, wait. You can unlock alternate skins when you're not playing. I, I, I thought you had to be playing the character to unlock alternate skins. I never knew that. The, that that's wild to me. Replace mod one blood. Um, explosive, shotgun, swarm. Let's replace blood. Try this out. I didn't know you could do that. That's awesome. So I got the weaponsmith thing unlocked that I was trying to get before. Not very happy right now with my current amount of HP. In fact, I'm almost certain this guy's going to kill me. Yeah. I mean, Gamma Guts just saved my fucking life. Okay, that was scary. Very scary indeed. We got there. Oh, yes. What does that do again? It said, um... Homing bolts and better bolt piercing. Nice. Better bolt piercing is kind of insane for us, I think. You get out of here, big boy. How are you still alive? This thing needs more fire rate. The fire rate on this thing's very slow. Gamma Gut saving the day once again. Oh my god, things are getting hectic. Gamma Gut saving the day. God. It's been a wacky run. One weapon carried the entire thing. Kraken pistol. If I see another bolt weapon that's like the same, um... That's the same, like, type of... What am I trying to say here? I don't even know. Herming, Kraken, Bouncer. Basically, if I see another uh, weapon that's bolt, that's higher level, I'm gonna take it. That's what I'm trying to say right now. Flame Axe. Ooh, that's cool. Still taking the Inversion Magnet, though, here. Good old Inverted Throne. I'm sure we're going to get absolutely destroyed here. Oh, I forgot he did that. <laughs> Already getting a bit destroyed. What does, you, what does this do again? Ammo was not what I was looking for. Yeah. <clears throat> Had a feeling. Right, let me just quickly go back to the beginning and see exactly... So, f first of all, because we've got a lot of gold things going on here. Save a lost sheep as sheep. Don't know what that means. Complete a main area without firing after the scrapyard as sheep. Okay, we can do that. Don't know what save a lost sheep means. That's uh, a little bit lost on me. But main area after the scrapyard without firing. Basically, we need Gamma Guts, and we might even need the Throne Butt, depending on what the Throne Butt is, to do this. Uh, that'll help with that. Because that counts. That doesn't count as firing. Good. Yeah, nice. We've got ways of not firing now, I like that. Beautiful stuff. Get a fire on this guy. Nice easy kill. Dude, this fl this flare gun, very, very good golden weapon. I like that a lot. Um, extra speed seems good. Seems like um, building up speed increases our uh, damage that we do, so... Seems like a good idea. Got an inverted area here as well. Nice. That'll take us to a YV's mansion again, I'm pretty sure. So, definitely going to go through that. Cool. Let's go. 
Um, alkaline saliva is pretty good stuff. Alright, just keep firing this down the hole. Hope everything dies to it. Okay, the fire is spreading nicely. I like the way it like, leaves a fire trail as it travels as well. You get a bit more damage coming off of it on top of the damage that you get from hitting enemies. Morph on it, why not? Bullet popper. Cool. Hello, we've got level 5 as well here, nice. Beautiful stuff. Should this be YV Mansion? Yes, it is. Okay, um... Go with Tough Shell here as well. Oh, dude, this thing. This thing with Morph is very good, too. I'm not sure exactly how Morph works, but I think basically, like, once an enemy falls below, like, 10% HP or something, it turns him into a sheep. So basically, it means you can kill things a little bit faster. Golden pop rifle. Dude, all the golden weapons getting unlocked right now. Love it. I wonder what the best golden weapon is in this mod. So I bet there's like some late game, like loop four golden weapons you can get that are insanely good. I've not really had a look through them all. So this is obviously Scrapyard. We've not got the prerequisites really to get through a stage without firing yet. Unless we just use the alien thingy, alien intestines, which is honestly plausible. Wow, he died very quickly. Double director shotgun. I'll I'll take a double director shotgun. Seems good. Didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Right. All good. Right. We are done with the scrapyard now. Um, gamma guts. There it is. Right. Do not fire on the stage at all. Try and use um alien. What's it called to kill the explosive guys and the big boys? Gamma guts to kill the little dudes. There's going to be another turret right here, isn't there? Is that it? Yeah, baby! We did it. Don't know how well this is doing right now. Oh, God. Okay. Didn't do too badly there. This has worked out pretty nicely, I think. This thing's still doing some good stuff. Electro gun. The electro gun is just the one that fires the ball, right? Yeah. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh, don't goddamn saw blade me, you dick. The electro gun's decent enough. It's more good for, like, long corridors like that. Oh, we got another inverted area here. Wasn't expecting that. We got some explosive crossbow something or other there, I think. Throne butt, finally. Better charge, more charge damage, more charge control, faster charge. All, all the charge stuff. Ooh, the inverted version of those dudes is cool. I like that. Oh my fuck! <laughs> He's 
guys are insane. I love that. I love that. Go through here first. Let's actually take a look at our crown, shall we? I've not I've not played with our crowns yet, and there's a lot to go at. So we got Crown of Disco, Dance Baby Dance, Warning Flashing Lights, okay. Uh, crown of Life, which is no health drops at the end of each area. Um, reset to HP to max if you already have max HP, overheal one. Ooh, that could be very strong. Um, bigger explosions, minus one uh, HP. Pickups fade faster and are worth more. That's always one that I can take. No ammo drops, more weapon drops. Lose health and gain um, rads over time. More enemies, less rads. Free mutation, narrow future. Ammo chests only. Um, okay. Weapon drop tier increases more each area. Enemies have more health and are more aggressive. That seems tricky. Uh, die and be reborn once for um, be, be reborn for one area. You have infinite ammo. Okay. Um, higher chance of inverted portals to appear, that's always nice. Higher drop rates, enemies drop no rads. So I think some of these you, you'd only want to take after you've started looping, right? Uh, more cursed chests. Remove your secondary weapon when you go through a portal. Um, more chests, slightly more weapon drops. An extra van spawns each area, purpose drop rads. Replace weapon mods... Um, so, uh, sorry, replace weapon mod stations with ultra chests. Oh, that sounds good. You take double damage, increase the value of rads. Every area is dark, enemies can hit each other. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Um, Weapon drops, overheal one instead of giving ammo. Oh my lord, that sounds very strong. Um, 70% higher drop rate when above 75% HP and 50% when below 75%. Start each area with 1 HP and a 25% chance that enemy spawn with 10% HP. And all projectiles are faster, everyone moves slightly faster. Let's try and take, um... Let's try and take this Ultra Chests one we got going on here. This sounds interesting. Oh, when you take a crown, you can then start with that crown. Okay, I did not know that. Oh, fuck. I, I'm so fucking dead right now. I don't even know what little dude does. I'm sure it's bad. Okay, I managed to kill him somehow. Explos explosive screwdriver, excuse me? Okay, this is good stuff. I'm kind of plowing through right now. Okay, the, the, the Gamma Guts plus Seth Throne, but with this is pretty goddamn amazing. Super Bow. Hmm. I like Super Bow. Oh, dude. This is an insane way to unlock golden weapons. I have been missing out. Holy. Exit to courtyard? What the hell? What's exit to courtyard? What the hell's this? What have I found here? Oh my lord, this is tricky. Is this is this something that's like only available when you're using a crown? I'm gonna guess that's the case. This is cool. <laughs> How have I been missing out on all of this?
Dude, you can unlock gold weapons so easily like this. This is awesome. Heavy grenade launcher, flamethrower, splinter seeker, super crossbow. Golden bazooka. Fuck yeah. Okay. We have a new goal um, for uh, for all the characters. I'm going to be trying out crowns a lot more from now on, I think. <laughs> People have been telling me for a little while that I need to get uh, more involved with crowns. And I, I've, it's not like I've been ignoring them. I've just been like preoccupied with trying to just play the new characters and stuff, but this changes things. This this area is really cool. I don't know where this is going to lead to, like where, where it's going to pop out at. But I like it. I also realize that I keep opening these chests with all my rads and not actually leveling up. It's fine. Whoa, what the hell is that guy? That guy has his own crown. I killed his crown. Dude, I'm loving this. Right, let me just check what I've got going on here. Golden Jawbreaker, Doom Pistol. Spiral Yo-Yo. Doom Pistol seems fun. Oh! What just happened? This is the coolest fucking thing ever. What the hell have I found here? How many secrets is there that I don't know about? What on earth is this game? This mod is amazing. Go Doom Bros. Seek out your fortune. Okay, there's another one of these guys again. These, I, I thought this was the, the stage boss. Turns out this just seems to be one of the enemy types. What is going on? The fucking... The f... I'm so confused right now. What is happening? I'm guessing that guy just like... Take the multi-crown. What? Get out of here, little boy. Oh my fucking... What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh my lord, this is amazing. Holy shit. Okay, so... Yeah, there's there's clearly a lot more that I have to explore here. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. That was a lot of fun. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll explore this more in the next episode, I think. I think indeed we will. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.